All right, and uh, we're going to have our first match here. It's going to be NR Glistal, our Zerg player, versus VP Street, the Terran player. We're going to be on GSL Daybreak. And this is going to be the first match of this week's uh, CSL match for the Drexel Dragoons. Alright guys, once again, I'm Radio Addict, and this is the uh, CSL stream for the Drexel Dragoons. We're going to have uh, VP Street spawning in the northeast corner of the map, and NRG Listal spawning in the southwest corner of the map. This is going to be a ZVT on Daybreak. Now, uh, I have my friend Rules of War here with me, and he's going to be uh, co-casting this game. Well, hello everyone. And uh, Rules of War, would you care to tell us a little bit about what you think of this map, this matchup, especially on this map? Um, well, you know... I still really haven't played this map too much, but um, I have seen a few GSL games on it, and uh, the biggest thing is just, even though it's a two-player map, it's a really big map. The distance across the map is really big, so I don't really think we're going to see any kind of like two racks pressure or anything that early. I think Street is more likely to go for some kind of Hellion play, but you know, we'll see if he chooses to do that or if he just chooses to go with a quick expand build since he is pretty far away from his opponent. Yep, and we, we see complete cross map and the first overlord going out here across the map. Um, looks like Glistal is just going to be droning up here at the beginning of the game. Pretty standard opening. A lot of drones. It looks like he might be going for some kind of 15 hatch or early. Um, yeah, he's most likely going to go the, for the 15 hatch on this yeah. map. If he didn't, I would against Terran, you'd probably be doing some kind of cheese. But I don't think Glistal's going to be doing that this game. And do see the other overlord out to scout the natural. Always a good choice. And a wall here for Terran. Yep, that's a standard wall off. Just the first barracks going up right now. Um, let's see, has uh, Street taken his refinery yet? Mm, no, he has um, not taken a refinery yet. Oh, Interesting. two barracks going down right oh, now. Oh, so we see a two racks from VP Street. Yeah, I'm proven wrong. Uh, my first day casting here on the Drexel Dragoons <laughs> channel. And uh, VP Street is going for the two racks at his base, even though that's quite a long distance to get to Listel's base. And then he will have the, the 15 hatch down. Oh, but Listel is going for gas after his hatch, then into pool, so his spawning pool is actually going to be quite late, and um, it's going to be interesting to see what he can get there before Let's the, uh, see, he will, he will scout this two racks. That's got to worry him, and he just throws the spawning pool down now. Um, that's got to be kind of scary to see when you went gas before pool. Yeah, he went gas first, and then he drove back up to 17 before he threw down that spawning pool, so that's a very late spawning pool. Hatch. Still see no refineries, straight up two racks, and the first marine is out heading across the map. Yeah, well, you know, VP Street's probably going to apply some pressure here and go right into another command center before he throws down any gas. He's not really going to be looking to Let's see if we see the uh, the bunker going down. Almost definitely see that. We see two drones coming out here for uh, Listel to try and defend this, but that SEV backs up. How far are the marines across the map right now? Oh, uh, this Marine is just holding the watchtower, mm -hmm. so this is kind of an interesting choice. He looks like he wants to pump out a few more Marines before he's going to go for this. And honestly, first four Zerglings are in production. This could still be very effective if he decides to push now. Yeah, if Listel doesn't see the other Marines coming across the map, he may only make four Zerglings, and in that case, he's not going to be ready for five or so Marines. And he is going with uh, two Queens simultaneously, and uh, here's our Metabolic Boost. Uh, but we do see two more pairs of Zerglings coming out for Listel, as well as two Queens, so I really don't think these Marines are going to be able to do too much. They'll probably kill a few Zerglings, but he's just going to pull back to that command center that he just threw down. Yeah, very nice. Got a couple Marines defending here. And uh, I think this pressure is going to be enough to scare Listel, but not really make him commit to counterattacking or going too all in. So it's a nice way to get off an expansion as Terran in the early game. You could also just win it right there if everything goes well. Yeah, we see Listel actually make 12 Zerglings right now. So. I mean, he already help. has enough. And uh, 
yeah, it looks like those Zerglings are going to go in for some kind of counterattack, or at least they're moving across the map. I'd be surprised this if he didn't. actually quite a nice time, because Metabolic Speed, the uh, Metabolic Boost just finished, so the Zerglings are going to get there really quick, and there are not a lot of Marines to defend that expansion right now. These Zerglings are just flying across the map, and there's a bunker and a couple of Marines up, and these Zerglings will be able to pretty much take this entire thing out. Although these uh, Marines coming down from the high ground are going to do some good damage in the uh, pass from there. Zerglings are all going to get destroyed, doing very minimal damage. Yeah, I think that he should have tried to focus down the bunker there, but I guess he just didn't have quite enough Zerglings to do it. Um, that really puts him in a deficit, because all those Zerglings you know, you have, uh, have a lot more drones right now. But We do see the Baneling Nest going down for Zerg. Interesting choice. I like that. He's probably going to try and go for some kind of two-base bust, because he has lost a lot with those early Zerglings. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if, if he doesn't do that, he's going to but he is making 12 more Zerglings, so I think you are right about the uh, Baneling bus coming here right here. Yeah, it looks like right when this Baneling nest is going to finish. And honestly, it looks like uh, VP Street has not really added much on. Oh, he is adding on uh, two reactors and two tech lines right now, so he can't even use his barracks for this a while. This is going to be very helpful to this Baneling bus, and he's really gearing up. He's setting it up right here. He's got the Lings moving across the map. And they're all just rallying here at the watchtower. We see the first uh, eight Bane Links morphing in. This is going to be very effective. Yeah, and VP Street These reinforcements. does not know this is coming. He's currently making two Marauders right now, which uh, would help against the Roach Push, but they're not going to help too much in this situation unless mm -hmm. other Bane Links detonate on them. I really don't see what VP Street is going to be able to do in this situation, but Terran always... Uh, oh, wow. I see the Zerg Links streaming in. They're going right for that back. Pretty soon here. And in the meantime, let's go to the air attack. He's adding on drones before the uh, Zerglings is building right now, and he's adding on three more extractors, so uh, looks like he's doing very well right now. He's probably getting ready to take the Mutalist or the Festival. So looks like Terran will be able to actually hold this off and stay in the game, but he is half the supply right now. He's very, very far behind his opponent. And it just seems like there's reinforcements all over the place. Maybe a miss rally here? Yeah, yeah it looks like a miss rally. We see all these Zerglings getting uh, miss rallied in, but I'm sure he'll correct that. So. Yeah, but Whistle's still making a couple drones, so he's still not, he doesn't want to go all in. He still wants to be building drones and making sure that he has the lead. I wouldn't be surprised if he throws that expansion pretty soon, because he does have the money to. And Stim's just about to finish, and you were right, the Spire is going down. Where is this little building? Let's find it. And there it is, a little, little nipple. Uh, the Spire's going down, very long constructing building, but Blitz still has the time right now. He, has a he is pushing in his own lane. And this is not as effective, but these bandits aren't going to do some good damage. He gets killed without a damage. It looks like Blitz is just continually cleaning up BP Street's army. There's not much he can do here. Yeah, he's just going to keep him on the back foot the whole time with these little Zergling Banley attacks. He's going to be able to pick off some more SCVs here, most likely. Yeah, he's going to get a couple more worker kills. Quite a few more worker kills. Look at the units killed. Listless killed 30 workers to zero from VP Street. Yeah, and also, every time he sends his Zerglings <laughs> in here, he gets a full scout of the base, so he knows that VP Street hasn't built an engineering bay or any turrets yet. So uh, the Mutalists are really going to be effective, and that Spire is about to finish. And he is really just continuing to push with these Zerglings, doing great pressure. Looks like uh, VP Street is scrambling to get an army out, not really focusing on his worker production like he needs to right now. Um, he's actually doing like this. Looks like this will just clean this up even higher. to push that way. He didn't kill everything, but Street can't push anymore with that small group. We do see a macro hatch going down in the main of uh, NR Glistal. Yeah, Glistel. that's an interesting decision. You know, he has complete map control right now. He could really just expand anywhere he wanted right now. Eight mutas coming out, and we see uh, an engineering bay finished, but no turrets being built and very little anti-air. We Just a small force of marines and marauders about to move across the map. Yeah, the first factory has only just started building, so Street, you know, it's a long time before he can do any kind of medevac drops. You know, he doesn't even have siege tanks out. 
the uh, Thors are going to be a very long way away, so the Mutalists are going to be have to held off completely with Marines and Turrets. We see the third going down for our pistol. They're gonna head in pretty soon. Yeah, I think he's just walking back to the Marines with no problem. Um, we do see plus one uh, ground attacks for melee and plus one air attacks going down for Lissel right now. Um, I don't think that Street has any upgrades yet, but I could be wrong. Um, we'll find out. I'll check a Marine. Looks like he does not have any upgrades, oh, he's and he's just attack. getting plus there one. Alright, his starport is now on the way, so uh, looks like he's going to have reactor medivacs pretty soon, so that'll be good for him, but it might just be too late. He's trying to push into the third, and the Zerglings are going to catch them. It looks like Terran's moving back into the corner where they do excel, and the Mutas are going to be able to clean all of this up, and VP yeah. Street is once again on the back foot with absolutely no army, yeah, and five very little. Yeah, just popped out for Listel, and he's going to move across the map right now, and um, I really think that he's just going to contain VP Street on two base until he just wants to finish this game. Medivac's coming out, and we see the first two missile turrets finishing up for uh, for VP Street. Uh, in time, and the Mutas are coming in. It looks like a direct frontal assault with the Mutalists and Zerglings. Not going to have too much trouble cleaning up the minimal army that's here. It looks like this is probably going to be... Well, the mass oh. repair going down in the bunker is actually uh, holding everything off right now. Um, and the current worker count is 58 to 37. So, or 64 to 37, so the, the Zerg player is very much ahead, and these Mutas will all live. It looks like there's nothing they can really shoot air here except these few Marines running down the ramp, and it looks like Listel is just furthering his lead by taking out some of these workers. Yeah, you know, I will say, VP Street is really hanging in there, you know. He's been really down on supply almost the whole game. He's down uh, about 50 supply <laughs> right now, but he's still hanging in there, so um, he's going to have to do something creative to come back. We see the worker transfer to the third. We have reached, like, the good 80 drone point from Listel, but he is only on two base, so we'd like to see another expansion at some point. Yeah, he just kind of take the map at this point, honestly. He could start mining on the street side of the base if he wanted, or uh, side of the map if he wanted to. This is great play, placing a Zergling at every expansion. It's very nice. And he's just really controlling the map here with these Zerglings. Yeah, um, what is Street building right now? Is he just still building Marines and Marauders? It yeah, looks like looks he is like just it. going for the Marine and Marauder counter to the, the Mutalist. And he does have one turret up here. It's going to be helpful. The Muta flock is not huge yet, but... Yeah, if he, well, if he mass repairs that, he'll be fine against this number of Mutalisks. And he will get the mass repair. Oh, man. But he is getting a good amount of worker kills yeah, as well. Yeah, is targeting all the workers that are mass repairing right now, so it just doesn't matter. You see, still zero workers killed for VP Street, with 49 killed for NRG Listel. It's the Overlord spreading across the map as Overlord Speed finishes up. Yep. So he has complete map control at this point, and there's not much VP Street can do. He's really contained, but he is going to move out with a big force of uh, Medivacs and Marauders. He's going to take out this Overlord. Zerg Flyer attacks level 2 will probably finish by the time he gets to the base. I don't know, this is kind of a long upgrade, but we'll see about that. Um, it, he is getting good upgrades right now. Street's only, or Street's going to be on 1 1 pretty soon. We see the Baneling uh, speed coming up, and 22 Baneling's morphine as well, the high. So, uh, is really just ahead in every, uh, in every regard here. 22 Banelings are going to be devastational. Oh my god, and that's a huge uh, Ling Baneling muta force for, for Listel. He is just holding this third, and this, there's going to be absolutely no problem against this force. Well, Street is doing a nice bio spread here, but he's going to minimize some of the damage right now. Banelings going to the side. And medivacs are all going to be getting sniped by these mutilists. But in the end, it just looks like there's too much stuff in this hole. Not even using hardly any of his banelings at all. Most of them are still alive, and it's going to be very nice for when he tries to break the main inevitably after this. Yeah, he really only needs these circles right here. Uh, I thought this might be off of BP Street. We do see ten more Zerglings coming in, five more Mutalis. Uh, centrifugal Hooks is finishing up, and here comes the push into the main, and VP Street is just not going to be able to hold this. Oh, 
this mass repair is a little ridiculous right now as he is just staying alive forever with these few And we see Street GG and Listo will take the first match of the week.